hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be cooking some red peas beef soup yes guys so i'll be using beef with other ingredients and red peas same thing as kidney beans to make our beef soup today first thing i get my beef i cut it up into several pieces then i will wash my beef so i will wash my beef as i said guys with vinegar white vinegar and water wash it thoroughly make sure that it is clean and well prepared for cooking it is very very important that we wash and if you have running water it's best to wash your meat or your food with running water after washing we'll drain off the water excess water from the beef then i'll add some all-purpose seasoning along with some salt and some black pepper i like to season my meat when cooking soup it gives the meat a nice flavor it is optional but i think it is better when you season and the season marinate in the meat yes i have gone ahead and started to pressure my kidney beans or red peas i added pimento seed and garlic and some salt to the pot now my peas have been pre-cooked now i will add my beef after seasoning and marinating for a while adding it to the pressure pot of course now i will allow my beef to pressure for about 10 minutes with my kidney beans in the meantime i will go ahead and chop some scallion and onion and carrots yam irish potatoes green bananas and pumpkin all these i will be adding to my soup hence i have gone ahead and put on my soup pot put some salt into the pot allow it to boil then i will add my scallion and my onion and my food my pumpkin my irish my bananas and my yam i like to cut my food like my pumpkin and my carrots into small pieces they cook quicker and the combination of colors are so beautiful the carrot the pumpkin and the banana the colors are so beautiful i just love it now i will add my food to my soup pot with my seasoning then i will cover and allow to cook for a few minutes in the meantime i will go ahead and need some flour to make some dumplings or i can make some spinners to put into my soup some cornmeal dumpling yes guys cornmeal dumpling is best to me with red peas soup now that i have finished pressuring my beef and my red peas i allow my pressure pot to cool down for a few minutes then i will pour my red peas and beef into my soup pot with my food it is time now for me to place my dumplings or my spinners in my soup pot so i'm gonna make my dumplings small make some small spinners and put it in the soup pot guys our soup ain't soup without dumpling or spinners trust me after i have completed putting my dumpling into my pot i will go ahead and add some cock soup i won't use beef soup i'll use cock soup it is spicy and it gives the soup a lovely flavor you must try it 
this is not an uh, advert not an advertisement guys <laughs> just stating the facts after adding the cup soup stir the pot so it can be dissolved the cock soup has a tendency to stick together so you can stir it or what you can do you can actually mix it out into a small amount of water before adding it to your soup pot so just mix it out and help it to dissolve properly then i'll add some all-purpose seasoning and stir my pot this pot look lovely and smell lovely. There's my scotch bonnet pepper on top. Now I'll be adding another major ingredient, guys. This is my coconut juice. Your red pea soup is not complete until, you're at, until you add your coconut juice. This gives it a wonderful flavor and taste. It also helps with the body of the soup. It makes the soup come together somewhat. Maybe a little thicker, but it does help. After which I will allow to simmer down for about 10 minutes. Then my soup will be ready. Stir and cover your pot and let it simmer down. Now that you have added all the natural ingredients and spices, allow your pot to simmer down. Voila! My soup is ready, guys. It is lovely. It is tasty. You should try it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Love you. Peace out.